Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. I'm glad to see that you have returned. I am the gentleman who has gone rogue. Now, what I want to do today is tell you women that you too can be Pookie, a female Pookie, a Keisha, a Pookisha. Because some of you women are nothing more, in my most humble opinion, than ghetto ratchet thoughts and you will never change. You will never be able to hold on to a decent man. All you will ever do is always complain about how there are no good men out there. The reason why these men are not good to you is because you're not good to them. And you don't know how to be anything more than a young, immature, no good for nothing, ramen noodle eating, laying on the mattress while it's on the floor and eating booty ass thought. And that's my personal opinion. So you want a good man, you want a decent man, you're going to have to readjust your mentality to fit that. Because a real man who has a lot of options, a lot of money, especially if he lives in the upper class like I do, we're not going to put up with your foolishness. We're not. Sooner or later, that relationship will end because a man will truly realize his value. And there's a lot of nice, juicy, booty girls out here, and you ain't the only one. So we're going to play some clips about with women who agree with the gentleman who has gone rogue. Let me go ahead and play that for you, gentlemen. Let's get it. Most of us couldn't even handle a nigga with six figures, a nigga with anything over what we used to dealing with. We don't even know how to talk to a nigga with six feet. You used to talking. I agree. A lot of you women are used to bomb. You're used to pookie. You're used to um, repeat offenders. You are used to probationers and parolees and thieves. You're used to game bangers and dope boys and drug dealers. You're used to men who's going to call you outside your name. They got tattoos up and down their neck, face and back. You're used to dudes who carry guns and knives. You're used to dudes who throw up gang signs and stuff. You're used to dudes who run around and get other women pregnant while they're with you. This is the reason why you have to readjust your mentality because you cannot function successfully in a relationship with men like myself or men who are about who are decent. We're dealing with. We don't even know how to talk to a nigga with six feet. You used to talking to a nigga like trash, used to you know, taking shit back. You used to um being able to um kind a nigga with your pussy. Cause you know it's good. <laughs> but when a nigga don't need you, it, when pussy don't excite him, <laughs> number one. And she made a very valid point. Because after so long, if I'm dealing with you and you stressing me out, your vagina has absolutely no value. I can lay next to you, don't even want to touch you for a month. I'm being honest with you. You got to keep my mind stimulated. And you got to treat me with respect. Once the respect is gone, my attraction towards you is gone. And that's for a lot of men. Men do not want women who do not respect them. The only time they will put up with that mess is if it's just a, a hit and quit it, smash and dash. That's it. But as far as having a, a girl, see, some of you women, you'll start out. You start out trying to be a queen and act all sweet and nice and hide certain things, certain things about your personality. But when you get comfortable, all that ghetto hood rat shit starts to come out of your ass and like that. And then the respect that you were showing him starts to dwindle away no matter how good he is to you, no matter what he does for you, because now you feel you got this man wrapped around your little stink ass finger. And then he won't, he don't, he might fight for you, try to get you to come back, whatever it is. But after so long, when he realized that he have a line of women like I do, a line of women who can't wait to take your spot, he's going to start thinking like, hmm, why am I with this gutter mouth bitch? You get what I'm saying? He's going to leave. Or he's just going to let you leave. See, a lot of you think, that you won because you left him. It's not over until he also says that it's over because there's a lot of men who don't accept it and keep pursuing you or become stalkers and stuff. So it's not really 100% over. But when you leave and he decides, I don't want to give you no more chances. Oh, honey, child, you ain't never coming back. That's it. Even if you want to, even if you think you got the win, even if you think, hey, I did this to him. When a man moves beyond a woman, it's not the same for a woman as it is a man. When a man moves beyond you, it's as if you never fucking existed. And when pussy don't excite him, number one, and he know his work, don't have to put up with the shit you coming with and got choices, got a line of bitches that he could choose from, that shit don't fly. You got to adjust or, or you can go and find the same type of nigga that you used to dealing with with your toxic ass hit the nail on the head go find you the type of man the men the men that i was describing in the beginning of this video the repeat offender the drug dealers the abusive men the verbally abusive men 
those are the type of men that these type of women tend to gravitate towards. Now, they can be fine, they can be pretty, can give you the best head, can give you the good butt, everything they want to give you, can eat your booty, everything they want to do. You know what I mean? But those type of men are the men that they're attracted to because that's all they ever known. Sometimes they grew up and they saw mama with the same type of men that they are pursuing, the same type of abusive men. They are toxic because they are, they embrace toxicity. They embrace chaos. They embrace being argumentative. They embrace not I mean being unpleasant. These type of women are not fit for marriage. They're not fit for relationships. They are not fit for, to be mothers. I've seen women with the same type of personality act just the way that she was describing be terrible mothers, but they don't get enough credit for that. They get credit for other shit that they don't do, like being good mothers. There's very few, I would dare say there's few good mothers that I see personally out here that New York's bad. There's a lot of, if you dress like a whore, you are a bad mother. If you have multiple sexual partners and your children know about it, you are a bad mother. You are toxic as hell. Okay? You are setting a horrible example for your children. Understand that. I'm going to play another clip about another Pukisha. Well, this woman gonna tell you about it. And I, she makes very valid points. I hope you pay attention to my women who watch my show. Let's talk about Pukisha, because a lot of y'all women don't know that you a Pukisha, right? True. Because I guess you think the only way you can be a Pukisha is if you a bunch of baby daddy having, you know, on welfare section eight, rainbow wig having, crazy lashes, ghetto nails. That is the stereotype. And that is not the, like she said, that's not the only way you could be a Pukisha, but it sure hell is the uniform of a Pukisha. Pookie. Which is if you a bunch of baby daddy having, you know, on welfare section eight, rainbow wig having, crazy lashes, ghetto nail having in order to be a Pukisha. But no, that's not it. That's not all of it. If you financially ain't got yourself together and you looking for a man to come in and save you, I mean, you struggling, you barely can make ends meet. You can't keep a steady job. You can't come up with whatever it is that you're going to do. One week you're doing nails, then you're doing hair, then you're doing lashes, then you This is 100% facts. Now, let me tell you something, man. I said that before in one of my previous videos that men of substance, men of value, decent men, I value men, whatever you want to call these type of men, stay away from struggling ass poles, man. Stay away from them because all they're going to do is um, drain you. Now, a struggling ass woman does not have to be a woman who is completely broke. It can be a woman who actually is working but struggles to make ends meet. When they are struggling to make ends meet, they will consider prostitution. In other words, they will consider selling their body for forty dollars that a man hit for a little month for some money or a bag, and they will justify what they're doing. I was talking to a woman not long ago, and she was trying to tell me how she justifies prostitution. You are a hooker anytime that you give sexual favors for any expectation of financial gain. I don't care if you give him some and he pay your nails if you gave it to him just so he can pay your nails or to keep it coming to keep him paying money on you. You are nothing more but a street running whore, nothing more than a prostitute, nothing more than a hooker. You are nothing more than a whatever it can be. That's trashy behavior. There's no justification for prostitution, but if that's what you choose to do, then so be it. That's you. And I'm not coming at you from a point of judgment, but in a way I am. I condemn that behavior. Because all you have to do is get off your lazy ramen noodle, eat ass, and go up there and get you a job, go to the workforce, fill out an application, and go to work like every other decent American in these United States of America. But no, you want to have your hand out. You want to go ahead and beg dudes. You want to make his life harder. You want to put pressure and expectations on him that it's unfair. All because you ain't nothing but a slothful, lazy or that needs to get off her ass and go do what she needs to do for herself and her kids. The kids that you have by multiple fathers. They ain't our damn fault. That's your fault that you open your legs up, have one leg pointed east and the other one pointed west. And you let a man just come on down in the equator and get right between all that and bust all up in you and shoot up in the club. That's you because you say silly things like this here. Oh my God, did you hear that that's exactly how y'all are save you i mean you struggling you barely can make ends meet you can't keep a steady job you can't come up with whatever it is that you're gonna do one week you're doing nails then you're doing hair then you're doing lashes then you're an esthetician then you're stripping when you just can't get it together and you relying on a man to come in and save you because as a woman you can't get it done yourself you are a pukisha if you out here dating for free meals because you can't afford to take yourself to these same places that you hold these men to a high standard to take you to you a pukisha if exactly exactly 
some of these women are so scandalous they will bring their children on the first date children that you never even heard of or children that you have never met no in person and they're gonna put the pressure on you gentlemen they want you to be the sucker they want you to be the simp they want you to be the meal ticket while they eat a meal you know what i'm saying these women right here are, they have no morals no principles and no scruples they are unfit to even be walking the earth in my personal opinion until they reform they need to be redeemed they need to come out of that old ghetto ratchet type of mindset now i guarantee you that every one of these no good for nothing um lollipop sucking whores what they do they all listen to Lizzo. They all listen to Lado, Lado, whatever the fat ass name is. They all listen to um, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion. These are their role models. You could tell a lot about a person from the music that they listen to. It doesn't mean that they're going to be that. But I promise you, when I was growing up, when I used to bump them but Tupac, I tried to emulate the, the words because I was attracted to that image. I wanted to be that image. I wanted to be a thug out dude. And this is what these women do. When they follow these women who all they talk about is my coochie pink, my booty hole brown, um, break his pocket, suck him up for the money, make him chase you. They are trying to be like these women who they have never met before. Trust and believe. Same places that you hold these men to a high standard to take you to, you a Pukisha. If you can't buy them luxury handbags that you think men are obligated to buy for you, you a Pukisha. If you think it's more important for you to be carrying around a Chanel bag and a Louis bag and all of these designer bags more than your car needing a new transmission or new tires, you a Pukisha. If That's right. That's right. Every ghetto Pookie woman, a female version of a Pookie, a Pookie should never have their priorities right. They never have the right things in order. This is the reason why their life are hard. This is why their lives are hard and difficult and they have a lot of problems going on right now. This is why they're so bitter, bitter at every man. Because they think a man's supposed to come in with a Superman cape and say, up, up in the way. Let me go and save this hoe today. That's what they think we're supposed to do. We're not made for that, gentlemen. And ladies, I want you to pay attention to this video. This is not bashing you. This is trying to wake you up and bring you some type of fucking awareness of what's really going on in this world today. Gentlemen are tired of you trying to use us like a damn spoon chop for some soup. That's all it is. A means to an end. That's all you want to use us for is a means to to an end you want to eat the soup you got to get a spoon and you use that spoon you don't give a damn about the spoon you throw the spoon away for the fast spoon or a fork but you, all your main goal was to eat the damn soup that's what you use this for you want the lifestyle so you take us and use us like we're the spoon in this analogy and we're just a means to the end so you can get to the lifestyle shut the hell up and get your education on a lot of you with degrees think the same way is if you got degrees and stuff you think you're better than a man you think no one can be better than you now you're single. Nobody wants you because you're too used to being masculine. Degrees, I'm going to tell you something. Higher learning, degrees, doctorates, masters, bachelors, associates. All that shit does is make a woman single. It makes them bitter. It makes them headstrong. It makes them stubborn. It makes them masculine. The majority, I ain't going to say all, but the majority of women that you meet with higher education who have high, uh, high earning supervisory positions in a white collar job or whatever type of job it may be, they are the most difficult to get along with because they believe that they have became equal to a man or better than a man. The new tires, you a Pukisha. If you put men on a higher priority list and you do your kids, if you go through men phones before you go through your kids homework, you a Pukisha. If you more focused on dating than you are your kids, you are a Pukisha. You are the worst of the worst of a Pukisha. If men ever come before your kids, you are a sorry excuse for a woman. If That's true. A lot of women do that now. They'll put men over their children or it won't be the fact that they're putting a man over their children. It's just that they don't want the responsibility of raising them kids. They rather they don't mind pushing them out. They don't mind someone skeeting up in them just so they can say that they're a mother. Oh, that's my little baby. Look at my little babies. I, I, I die for my babies. Let someone come at my babies. You say all that shit, but then you don't want to take care of your own children. I've seen situations where the man will take care of the kids better than the mother. The mother don't want nothing to do with them. The mother just want to keep running the streets, live wild, sniff cocaine, pop pills, drink, drink case of Migos all damn day. Do all that. That's what they want to do other than be a parent to their child. So you tell me what's right here, Pukisha. All right, Pukisha, you are the worst of the worst of Pukisha. If men ever come before your kids, you are a sorry excuse for a woman. 
If you have ever allowed your children to have to take second place or less priority in your life over a man, if you spend most of your time on social media thirst trapping in your DMs, then you do things with your kids, watching what your kids doing. If you think throwing a tablet in your child's face and telling them to go in the room while you do whatever it is that you do as parenting, you are a Pukisha. Yes, any woman that thirst trap, meaning that you put sexually suggestive pictures on the internet i don't care if it's facebook i don't care if it's so um instagram twitter whatever it is, or x whatever it's called now not only are you a pukisha but you are a known whore guess what you are you're thirst trapping and the only time i ever see women do that stuff when they try to pop it and coochie on these damn social media sites is because they're trying to get the bag they ain't nothing but women who are involved in prostitution they don't want to be called hookers they don't want to be called whores they don't want to be called sluts they don't want to be called skanks but that's what they are when you are out there involved in sexual things with but you know what i'm trying to say when you are involved with selling your body for money and you see that more now than you ever did before the hoes no longer just walk the strip no more they ain't only walking the blade no more sometimes these hoes are inside of the uh the comfort of their own apartment or the comfort of their little motel they stay in they in there using their phones taking pictures and stuff going online and stuff getting naked and stuff like that that's the newest form of prostitution if you ask me they do that now they use social media as a way to get some money from shaking their butt. They have gentlemen strangers to come here all night, bang them up. They can have two or three different men, gentlemen calling in one night just so they can make a little funky $100 so they can make a funky $200 and some of you even cheaper than that. You could be $20 or $40 because you don't want to get off your ass and go to job for or go to the military or get some kind of some kind of skill. Shit, just go to the McDonald's, do something with your life. If you don't know how to control yourself in regular environments, if you think that wearing a see-through leotard with pasties to five-star restaurants is okay because it's your birthday dinner, you are a Pukisha. If you think it's acceptable to go to a place where they have not advised you that you should stand on couches and twerk, but you stand on couches and twerk, you are a Pukisha. If you are a grown woman, if you are anything out of high school and you still resort to physical violence when it comes to other women, you are a Pukisha. If you don't know how to handle and control yourself without having to physically fight somebody, you absolutely are a Pukisha. If you fight with other women over men, you absolutely are a Pukisha. If you jump in women's DMs trying to check them about a man before you check that man about what he's doing, you are a Pukisha. If you do not have a positive co-parenting situation with your children's father or fathers but you out here on the dating scene trying to get another man involved in that drama and chaos you are a pukisha i agree 100 percent, ladies if you know that you have a problem with your baby daddy you should even be on the dating scene you need to get that squared away now i know you can't control the actions of another man i get that but you can do other things you can put the man in jail if you wanted to you can do all kinds of things to keep it where you can date a man where you won't stress them out. This is one of the reasons why men do not want to date um, single women that have children. This is why we don't want to marry other men's baby mamas because of the potentiality of having to deal with that BS that normally comes with that, okay? This is why I say women who have children, other men's baby mama are only for recreational use only. That means you just bang it and you move around. I don't care if you got to string them along to play with their emotions. I don't give a damn about that. They put themselves in this position. All right. Now, they already know that life was going to be harder. Excuse me. They knew life was going to be harder when they had these kids by these different men. They knew it was going to be a challenge when they decided to get pregnant before they got married. Now, this is why a lot of men do this to you ladies, because you made bad decisions. How do you fix that? How do you come out that? It's being feminine. The only way that you can make yourself desirable to a man of substance value and money is that you bring to him what most women are not bringing which is femininity which means you have to be submissive to him and some of you are foolish enough to think that means just to be completely controlled no that's your nature to be submissive and all you dumb ass women that say i can only be submissive only when the right man come along femininity submissiveness does not it's not something that you can turn on and off no either you are feminine or you not that's just what that is have a positive co-parenting situation with your children's father or fathers but you out here on the dating scene trying to get another man involved in that drama and chaos you are a pukisha 
Just like I said in the video with the pookies, a lot of y'all women are pookishas and you can't see yourself. You can't realize that you are a bad choice. You are a bad pick for a man to end up with. No man should be out here dealing with you and a man definitely shouldn't be out here getting you pregnant. You don't need to be nobody's mother right because when you do become one you have to do that job you don't need to be dating you don't need to be getting pregnant you need to go sit down and get yourself together i don't care how good some of y'all can dress up your pukisha ism you're still a pukisha deep down inside it don't matter how bomb your makeup is how laid your hair is how nice your outfit is when it comes to who you are at the core you still pukisha in other words, you ain't shit. All them songs about, I don't want no scrap, scrap, ain't nothing. At the end of the day, you ain't nothing more but a pukisha. So you may well look in the mirror and say this. This is what you say when you see somebody. This is what you say when you see a, uh, a pookie. Oh my God, it's pookie. He is so freaking hot. He makes me want to give him my food. That's right. When you see a pookie, you say he's hot and you want to give him his you want to give him your food stamps, and then you want to eat his booty. That's just exactly what it is. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about today's subject. I'll talk to you a little later.